Italian press, carried a second report concerning the Atlas of Creation. The report in the Italian language paper, which enjoys a circulation in excess of 100,000, was written by Fiorenzo Facini and said, The monumental Atlas of Creation by the Turkish Muslim author Harun Yahya, real name Adnan Oktar, was written for that purpose and maintains that the history of life on earth is to be explained in terms of creation with no evolutionary process being involved. The latest scientific findings have dealt a body blow to materialism and Darwinism. The effect of the work revealing the invalidity of the theory of evolution is also reflected in the results of various public opinion polls. The results have revealed a very powerful creationist trend across the world, and this is a matter of grave concern to evolutionists. The statistics obtained show that people no longer believe in evolution. For example, The Turkish public do not believe in evolution. According to one poll, the results of which were recently published by the Turkish Economic and Social Studies Foundation, TESEV, the level of those saying the theory of evolution is true stands at 10.7%, compared to 87.4% for those saying God created man. According to this poll, 11 out of 100 people in Turkey believe in the theory of evolution. In other words, that living things are the result of chance, that they came into being spontaneously over millions of years. In the late 1970s, on the other hand, 75% of Turkish citizens believed that the theory of evolution was true. Today, that figure has dropped to 11%. Ortada. Aklı ve mantığı olan ve bunu yürütebilen her insanın bizi yaratan Allahü Teala'nın varlığına inanmama gibi ihtimal yok zaten. Darwin teorisini çürüttüğü için özellikle ben görmeye gelmiştim. İkinci kez geliyorum. Veteriner ekibi zaten fosillerle bunlarda evrim teorisi tamamen tarihe gömülmüş oluyor. Bu fosiller gerçeği yansıtıyor. Çünkü canlı örnekler, gerçek örnekler. Üniversite öğrencisiyim. Ser gerçekten çok güzel. Evrim maldat macasını gözler önüne seriyor. Sergi çok gerçekçi buldum ve inanıyorum artık evrim teorisi diye bir şeyin olmadığına. Ben arkeologum aynı zamanda. Burada da gördüğümüz kadarıyla evrim teorisinin bu anlamda bir safsata olduğu anlaşılmaktadır. Evrim teorisi zaten artık 21. yüzyılın bir teorisi değil. Köyne bir teori. Yıllar önce e, çürütülmüş bir teori hala bazı çıkar çevreleri tarafından yaşatılmaya çalışılıyor. Yıllardır öğrencilere evrim teorisi diye bir iddianın olduğu, ara geçiş formlarının milyonlarca olduğu söyleniyor. Ama delil olarak bir tane bile gösterilmedi bize. Yani zaten ara geçiş formu yok. Olanlar da sahte ve bulunan bütün fosiller değişmemiş. Yani bu yani çok mükemmel, çok güzel bir olay. A poll on French scientific website has revealed that people no longer believe in evolution. Following the major impact of the distribution of the Atlas of Creation in France, the French website Science Actualité carried out a public opinion poll. The results of the survey show that Darwinism has been annihilated in France. The findings, set out under the caption, Your Views on Evolution, revealed that 92% of the public no longer believe in evolution. Darwinism has also been demolished in Germany, which now says God created life. The German daily, Die Welt, one of the country's most important publications, conducted a poll about creation on its website. 86% of the participants responded to the question, how do you think life came into being, by saying, God created it. 
the Danish people no longer believe in evolution. According to the results of a survey conducted on its website by the daily Extra Bladet, one of Denmark's highest circulation publications, Danes no longer believe in evolution. Asked, do you think that human beings are descended from apes? 88% of the Danish public answered, no. According to a poll in Germany, the public no longer believe in evolution. They say, evolution, no thanks. According to a poll regarding whether or not evolution actually happened that appeared on the website of Süddeutsche Zeitung, one of Germany's main dailies, the level of those believing that human beings are the work of a creator stands at 87 percent. According to a survey in Switzerland, the public say that creation should be taught. The level of people believing in the fact of creation stood at 85 percent in a poll conducted on the website of Blick, one of Switzerland's widest read newspapers. It is no longer possible to save Darwin and by extension the theory of evolution bequeathed by him. The true facts have been revealed and the false masks worn by those who lied in the name of science have been torn away and Charles Darwin has gone down in history as the founder of the greatest scientific fraud in the history of the world. Evolutionist attempts to regain their lost prestige are therefore all in vain. The fact of creation is continuing to spread ever wider in a manner that cannot be prevented. The latest developments, some instances of which we have seen in this film, have revealed a most significant truth. No matter how materialists and atheists strive to hinder the spread of religious moral values, no matter how they seek to obscure the light of God, Darwinism, the foundation of their worldview, has finally collapsed. Mankind will be freed from such deceptions in the 21st century and has already, by God's leave, begun returning to the purpose behind its creation. With the intellectual elimination of Darwinism, which leads to atheism and loss of faith, religious moral values will spread rapidly and peace and security will prevail on earth. By the will of God, floods of people will turn to religion in the very near future. And, as promised by our Lord, the light of God will prevail over the whole earth. Rather, we hurl the truth against falsehood, and it cuts right through its brain, and it vanishes clean away. Woe without end for you, for what you portray. They desire to extinguish God's light with their mouths, but God will perfect His light, though the unbelievers hate it. It is He who sent His messenger with guidance and the religion of truth to exalt it over every other religion, though the idolaters hate it.